Philip Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. Today I'm going to show you how to trim a ground cover carpet rose. Now carpet roses are great in that they are low growing and instead of growing up and out, they will spread low and out. So they're really great for the front of a border um, or along a walkway. They tend to have much smaller leaves as well as smaller flowers too. But because they're evergreen, they're nice so that you don't necessarily have to dig them up um, at all and you can plant other uh, annuals around them. But they do need some trimming in order to keep their shape, especially if they're planted along a border or a walkway. You want to keep them within the uh, flower bed so that way people aren't getting, they do have small thorns so you don't want anybody to get pricked as they walk by. Now, like most roses, uh, you should come out and periodically deadhead the rose, which means remove any of the spent flowers, um, as well as any flowers that you know have been sort of forgotten about that need that have started to turn into rose hips. Um, take a nice uh, sharp pair of pruning shears and make sure they're clean. You can use a disinfectant wipe, or you can. Uh, soak them in a solution of one part bleach to ten parts water or spray them with a disinfectant spray and make sure that they're rinsed and dried thoroughly. And then just sort of go around the rows and see that it's in the shape that you want it. I notice on this one we've got several um, spent flowers so I do want to trim those off. And the other thing that I'll want to do here, even though I have a rosebud coming here, normally I don't like to take off areas that are flowering. If I wanted this to stay in a smaller shape, I do want to take this one branch off and I'm going to take this off all the way down to the main stem and cut it there. So that way it'll start growing in other directions. So again, what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you walk around your roses whenever you prune them and see that they're in a good shape from all sides. Um, take off any dead wood on this side here. I've got a branch that is dying, so I'm going to get in there and clip that off too. And if there's any leaves that seem to have any issues, like this one's got some spots and is dying, and the tip of the branch right here is actually dying, I'm going to cut that one off too. So carpet roses are great. They don't need a whole lot of pruning like some other roses do, but you do want to keep them nicely shaped so that they're even like a hedge and keep your uh, uh, flowers trimmed up well. If you have any other questions on how to trim carpet ground roses, please contact me at www.edencondense.com. Thank you very much.